purchased uh, this rod rack or two of them a t-bar system from multibar catchy name very clever because I had no room in the back of my boat and wanted to get uh, a fixture that could be permanent or removed easily in the back of it because I do a whole lot of different types of fishing other than catfish and stripers and sometimes I don't want these in here so this was the the best option I could find they've got Three separate rod holders on each side with I believe two inch threads or whatever that is. I've got drift masters loaded in each one of them and I did test these out the other night and some super heavy current and a couple of very good catfish, actually quite a few of them, and they performed really well. I would like to preface this review is with that I don't have any kind of affiliation with this company so this is just me giving an honest review of a product. I used to do this in college all the time for pure fishing, Warrior Cat Rods, and a couple other companies. So I'll give you my honest feedback on it. And this is just an initial impression because I just got them and have been out on one trip for them. But I was very impressed with the overall uh, quality of the build on these. Very sturdy, well thought out. You can loosen these bolts and the whole thing rotates. You can loosen this one right here and it'll fold down. You can loosen that one and it'll rotate like this. You can even loosen this one that connects to the top rod rack and you can uh, adjust the angle of your rod holders if you want to. So it's very, very universal and uh, a great product. It also matches my boat and motor. So I had it uh, painted black. I think he can do a bunch of different colors. So that's pretty cool. Um, they're very, very sturdy. I had probably uh, three or four catfish rip. 20 pounds of drag on it and about two and a half mile an hour of current below a dam here in Knoxville on the river section and they were it was a huge takedown and I've had issues of fish ripping rod holders out of my boat out of this aluminum and there was no movement. I also locked down the reels before I took it out and pulled drag on it myself on max drag which is 30 pounds on a pin fathom and if you get a catfish that pulls that uh, you know it's a big one. So I'm gonna move over here to this side of the boat where I don't have rods uh, in the holders and I'll show you how they adjust Pull this slide out. basically all you do is find the right bolt size loosen it up a little bit you do each side Very loose now and just folds right down now this side that points out towards where the fish are at is straight flat instead of curved so when they pull that way it basically locks itself down past the bolt system too so it's very well engineered. Um, the guy who made them did a fantastic job and then um, all you gotta do is tighten them back down and find the right bolt. Give it a couple of turns. Now these are great for catfish or stripers, but they're also great if you're a multi-species angler like myself because you can take them out if I'm casting for musky or trout or take them on my buddies fly fishing. Um, you can take them out. You just pull this bolt out and the whole thing comes out and it just leaves the base. Um, base is secured by four four bolts uh, with locking washers. Um, these are tensioners right here where you can tighten them down and they don't move. Uh, I did get a couple videos of takedowns with fish from uh, two nights ago and I will link those or put them in the video following this review. Uh, to this point I've only caught catfish out of it but I will take it striper fishing here soon for some big stripers once the water cools off and we'll give a, uh, a final review based on that. But initially, I don't see any issues out of them. They're great. Not cheap, but pay for good stuff and it'll last forever. And I would highly recommend checking these out. 
You can see that's the name. You can look him up on Facebook. He responds really quickly and we'll take care of you. Wait for it. Maybe he's swimming upstream. Oh, there he is. Bend on over. Go on. There you go. Oh, lordy. Hey, I'm out here by myself. I've had like two doubles already. It's be wild. Bugs everywhere. Good fish. You gonna let this big bruiser go before I get another double? I'm about out of bait. I only caught like four skipjack and they're all gone. This is what I got in the water is it. See a slime ball. Golly, I got another monster on. I got about a 40 pound flathead in the boat and this one's peeling line. It's insane. Good Lord. Man, that was a monster takedown. Look at this rod. First night out with the multi bars, and they're great. Got so much extra room to work back here. Now I'm getting slammed by fish. These are just pulling 15, 20 pounds of drag in the rod holder. I don't think this one's as big as that flathead in the floor. Um, we'll find out though. No, not as big, not as big. Why? Why is it so weird? Is this a striper? Came up to the surface like a striper. No, it's just a blue cat. Just a 20 pound blue cat, 25 maybe. No, not that big. Maybe 20. Yeah, we'll see. Damn. I'm almost out of bait. I use 100 pound leader for a reason. Whoo! Holy crap! Whew. 
This is wild. Look at that. What in the heck? <sighs> My breath. I only got a few rods left out. I gotta open up a Verizon store in the morning. This is crazy. Whew. All right, I reckon I'm gonna release these guys. Whew. Start with this smaller bully first. Main fish. Main fish. Look at that current. Big dude next. This guy fought so hard. Oh. I love these fish. He gone. 